dominant and recessive. In science, it branched out to many other study of science. Some of the most common one is biology, chemistry, and physics. And then each of those branch out more to other study. Like for example, in biology, there's ecology, which is the study of the environment, and cytology, logy means study, cyto means cell, so cytology is the study of the cell. Other kind of study branches off in biology, such as marine biology, which is the study of marine life, and genetics, the study of heredity, traits that are passed on from generation to generation. So here we have a cross by Mendo of pea plants. The first, called the pea generations, the parent generation, we cross a tall with a short, assuming that the tall is big T, big T, and it's short is a small t small t in the next generation you will get two tall plants and then when you cross those same plants with each other in the next generation you will get many tall plants and a few short ones. Mendo called the one with the big T the dominant trait meaning that it takes over the other trait as long as it is in the DNA but during his time, he doesn't know what it is. So for now, he just call it dominant traits. And the one that does not show and skip the generation, he called that the recessive trait. Now these letter, for example, the big T, big T, this plant can only give a T, the big one, it can only give, no matter which one, it's just a big T. And this one over here can only give a small T. Together, their next generation is all going to have a big T and a small T, one from each parent, resulting in all plants with big T and small T. And because big T is dominant, all the plants in the next generation will be tall. Genetic makeup, which is called genotype, is the letter inside of the plant. We choose T to make it, we choose T to make it easier. So these letters are not real, they're just there to represent and to make things easier for us to understand. So the genetic makeup is something that we cannot see. It's in our DNA, it's in all the organism DNA, not something that we cannot see. Now, phenotype, which is opposite of genotype, is the physical makeup that we can see and observe. For example, the big T one, the dominant one, are all tall. Tall and short, those are called phenotype, the physical makeup of the plant. Genotype is the genetic makeup, which involves the letters only. In the first one, it's called the parental generation or the P generations. When they have kids, their offspring is called the F1 generation, followed by the F2 generation. The F stands for filial which means daughter or son. Lithops. So imagine you're at your store at the beach or somewhere or near the water and then you're just standing there and you saw a bunch of stone on the floor and then you just pick them up. You start to decide to pick up the stone to skip stone on the water for fun. Then after a few of them, all of a sudden one of them you picked up, you notice the stone is pretty soft. And then you see this happening. You're like, whoa, no way. It must be a Pokemon. No, it's not a Pokemon. It's a Lithops plant. The word Lithops comes from the word Litho, which means stone. So these are actually plants that look like stone. So can you spot the camera guy in one of the stone reflections? 